Hi there, my name is Kepi Cates, and welcome back to Cattail's Wildwood Story. So we will be starting a new adventure in this game today, whereas before we were playing as Nubia, and due to things that happened in real life, my heart is too sad to play Nubia any longer. So we will be moving on to Heather. So Heather is from Mist Clan in Clan Gen. Heather Kit was the lone survivor of the Shadow Cats that tormented Mist Clan into a point where they left or they died to the evil that lurked within the woods. Now, this was actually not my idea. I'm sure many of you know Magic's in our community, and this was Magic's idea to play Heather Kit as an adult in Cattails, because as we have seen in previous episodes with Nubia, there are shadow cats, or I believe they're called Voidling cats, in Cattails. So this is perfect. This is Heather coming back and taking vengeance on those dark cats and making a clan that can rise up against them and survive against all odds. So we will be playing Heather Kit, now just Heather. All right, and we are starting to make Heather. I'm gonna go ahead and take a few minutes to customize her and then kind of go through what I chose for her just in case you want to make Heather in your own playthrough. So for body type, these are my choices for Heather because according to Clan Gen, when I went into the cat list, it says that Heather Kit was a medium haired cat. So not quite long haired. So I gave her fluffy ears and a fluffy tail to have that medium look without her being too fluffy. <laughs> So for accessories, I gave her whiskers, of course, I love whiskers on cats, and then I gave her the rainbow firefly to light her way, and it's Pride Month, so I thought it was very fitting. For the eyes in Clan Gen, she has dark blue eyes, and the way that they look or have been designed in Clan Gen is it almost has a purplish slash indigo tint, and so I went with a little more purplish dark blue, and so these are the colors I went with. All right, that took quite a bit of work. I had to keep referencing the clan gen maker that I used to make Heather Kit off of the file. That was a lot. We are all done. Feel free to pause the video at any point if you are also making Heather in your Cattails game. So here we have the base. This is pretty much just her body, uh, her legs and her tail. I did a little bit of different variation to try and make a faded look. I don't think I succeeded. <laughs> But it's not bad. It's not bad. She's got a marbled coat, so I wanted to recreate that by adding stripes, rosettes, and speckles. As you can see here, I made sure to add head stripes. I made her belly the same color as her legs. I did add the rosettes and the speckles to kind of make it look like a marbling. I think it worked out really well since there is no marbled tabby option. I also made sure to make her tail tip dark and add some lighter portions to her face and her muzzle because that's what she looks like in Clan Gen. I even made it a little lighter than the belly. And then for ears, I did that dark salmon color and paws are all just a light cream. And she's done. We have now made Heather. Okay, and so we're going to skip the intro a bit because the intro is going to be a little different uh, with our story is that Heather Kit did get enough cats together to fight back against the creatures in the woods, the voidlings as they are now called. Uh, we can settle in different places now. Excuse me, this is completely new. So we have the forest, the meadow, the swamp, the beach, and the volcano. You can just settle in different areas. That is so cool. So technically, um, Miss Clan was in a meadow surrounded by the woods. A part of me really wants to settle in the swamp because of Willow Clan which is the origin story of Meyer clan. And for those of you that know what happens, you'll understand how this associates with Miss clan. But I don't want to say too much because those of you that don't know, this would be major spoilers. So let's do it. I've made my decision. 
Here we are, the Wildwood Colony. We got the achievement Humble Beginnings. Let's go. We made it. Hello, Heather. Well, we finally arrived. This is our new home. Isn't it amazing? Let's all do our part to ensure our success now that we've chosen a spot to settle down. I couldn't be more excited to see what's in store for us all. Sincerely, Coco. As well as Ember, how are you, Heather? I'm thrilled to announce that the general store is now open. If you're looking for something in particular, let me know and I'd be happy to help. I can also buy your items if you need some muse. Outstanding service is my aim. Greetings, comrade. Hello there, Heather. Crampy here. Crampy is back. I am writing to let you know that my clinic is now open for business. If you need medical assistance, keep me in mind. I can patch up anything, almost anything. Someday I'll be able to remove this disclaimer. <laughs> I love Crampy. So already I can see a bunch of changes that have been made to this game since we played the alpha with Nubia. Uh, like for instance, the task board I believe works now. Let's check this out. View daily task. So Ellie has a task for us. We need to collect three Ren and we get three task tokens. We might as well accept the task. I like that they changed the task board where it's actually for a cat and not just in general. It feels more personal that way. Ellie, wait! I love the art so much. I think I mentioned this last time when we were playing Nubia, but the art in this is chef's kiss. Absolutely beautiful. Hi there. Lovely day to lounge about, don't you think? I'm Ellie, in case you had forgotten. Sorry if that sounded rude. It's just that remembering names is kind of my thing. If you're ever unhappy with your name, come see me. I can change it for you. Now that we're neighbors, I'm sure we'll be seeing each other more often. If you're ever in the mood for a quick chat, just say so. I'd love to get to know you better. So obviously, just like in Cattails, it's gonna be important to make relationships with these cats because they can give you better gifts if you have better relationships with them. Obviously, some of them we will probably be able to romance, um, which I'm really excited about. So let's make sure we talk to every cat and do every task and see if we can figure out what the favorite gifts are. Spark is Ember's child. Their kit, <laughs> who doesn't really like to work in the shop and really just wants to adventure about. Here stands the Founder's Stone, a mighty monument whose markings tell the tale of the Wildwood Colony. What would you like to do? Oh, manage colony details. So we can actually change our name like we have done before and our banner. So I'm gonna play with this for a second and then I'll show you guys what I did. I just want to point out, there are so many leader titles. I'm probably going to stick with leader, but there's so many titles. The level of detail that has been applied in this game is absolutely amazing. And I think they took all of the things that were missing from the original Cattails and added it to this. It's made it such a unique game. All right, so we are Mist Clan still. She decided to keep the name Mist Clan. She is now leader of Mist Clan, and we have to fight off the Voidlings. Let's also take a moment to look at the map because the map has actually changed since the last time I played. We kind of came back to having like who is dominant over the land. I'm assuming the purple bar means that we don't have any influence. It could also mean that that is where the Voidlings lurk. There's also battles going on, so that's where the Voidlings are having battles with us. We may need to go participate in that, but we need to be very, very careful. I've also noticed that down at the bottom corner of the map, there is a little line that says what you can find in the area, like treasure, stone, sand, prey. It lists everything. I even saw wood at one point, so wood's gonna be important as well. Herbs. So this will tell you where you need to go depending on what you're looking for. No, B, please! B! B, no! B! 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are we fighting in the water? We, I can't fight in the water. What am I doing? Cats, you can do it! I believe in you! Oh, dear. How? How? Oh, yes. That's how. Okay. Wait, what's this? Hey. I don't think so. <gasps> yes, the battle is won! 
fun and we get a reward we've got dried roots but we can also pick up these what is this stuff okay inventory is q and it does give you a little description of each item appealing red berries that pop with a splash of sweet flavor so it looks like we can eat those but the void marrow is what i wanted to figure out a writhing pile of shadowy essence it gives you an uneasy feeling i wonder what we do with it and then dried roots several robust roots dried until hardened this item may be donated to your wood stockpile so we have a wood stockpile now we also have a task board so we can go back and see what our task was and we have to oh we have to visit the temple okay well we'll do that when i get back nice i caught my first squirrel i forgot how much i love this hunting system it's a little easier than the other cattails game oh my gosh we can cut grass now we're literally link so i've been hunting for a bit i caught a finch and i caught a sparrow but i haven't found any wrens yet and i'm like no i want to get a wren but it's getting late in the day and ooh, what is this hello oh wait i remember this yes i'm the steward of a great treasure i watch over it until the one who can claim it will come at last do you wish to challenge me for it yes hopefully i can answer all the white questions i like how he turns into a game show host true or false a cat's tongue is incredibly smooth that is false they have barbs on their tongue actually because it helps comb their fur it's good for cleaning True or false, a cat's pupils have a vertical slit. I have seen some cats that don't. Oh, I guess they do. Question three, true or, fa true or false, sphinx cats have thick coats of fur. That is definitely false. <laughs> Which of the following colors is not common cat fur color? Um, obviously green. Astounding, superb, Heather, you've won. Oh, that's so sweet. I had five chances. I blew one. So I guess they do have a slit. All of them do. But man, when, they're, when their eyes dilate, it doesn't look like that. But I have learned something. And now we have a power paw. You are filled with vigor by the ancient token. Your run speed has increased. Heck yes. And we got the Seeker of Ancient Treasure achievement. We got 10 XP. Heck yes. All right, time to see if we can help our other cats from the Voidlings before it gets too late into the evening. I still haven't found all the Rins, unfortunately. I did find another Golden Seal, though. Oh, good. Full health. That's what I want to see. We gotta help. We gotta help our fellow cats. Eh, eh. <gasps> yes, we did it! The battle is won. And now, even though it is very late at 9, 10 p.m., Heather is going to make her way to the temple. So this temple is very special. Coco has asked her to go there, and now she must meet a very important being for our clan. This is the forest guardian. This new temple shall bind me to the physical realm once more. You have done well in its construction. Heather, Coco, I thank you for your efforts. From my new home, I shall watch over our fledgling clan. There is much to be done here in the Wildwood. I sense there are threats on all sides. While I will do everything in my power to protect the town, you must understand that we will never be more vulnerable than we are today. By recruiting new cats, we can strengthen our community and better our chances of survival. This must be our highest priority. Recruiting new cats? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? What is this? What? This is new. It's beautiful. What exactly is it? This is the pillar of the Wildwood. I have created this powerful object to help us locate and recruit new residents to the Mist Clan. There are cats of all varieties who dwell in solitude near the Wildwood. They will join us when they see that together we are stronger than we ever could be alone. 
Use the pillar of the wildwood to discover new cats to recruit to the clan. Each cat has different needs that must be met before they may be recruited. By donating the correct items, you can fulfill those needs. Some cats, once recruited, will use their unique talents to provide new services to the town. All will strengthen the power of our community. Every new resident is a victory to be celebrated. This is important work, Heather. Please visit the Pillar of Wildwood often. This is totally new. This was not here when we were playing Nubia. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. Okay, let's just like delve right in. It's cards. Okay. Let's see here. Unlocks gardening. Obviously, we're just picking that right off the bat. All right. Donate items. Donate all the required items to recruit this cat to your clan. <sighs> so I just need golden seal. So tomorrow we go and get golden seal. We can actually look at some of the others. Like uh, we need a frog. It looks like and a mouse for this. A shell and a crystal. Interesting. Tons of fish. Oh, oh. Okay. Sorry. I'm just really excited. <laughs> okay. Let's head back to our den, sleep, and then tomorrow we can go recruit some cats. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this, y'all. Even from last time when we were playing Nubia, I love that you could decorate your den. It looks like we actually don't have a whole lot of cats living here. So all the cats that we saw previously in Nubia's playthrough, you actually have to recruit them now. They don't just exist. So truly, this is gonna be Heather's journey to recreate Miss Clan, to fight back against the shadow cats. Now that it's morning, I'm gonna do kind of our daily walk around where we talk to all the cats that are here in the clan and then I will meet y'all when I get the golden seal and come back to the Wildwood Pillar. Y'all, I just discovered the Festival Plaza is right above our camp and we got another power paw because I did the four paw thing. So now our maximum health is increased. We have an extra heart to fight against the Voidlings. Oh my gosh, y'all! I didn't even walk in the shop! Look at this shop! It's just here! What? Hello, Ember. How are you? Let me come chat with you. Oh, hello there, Heather. I'm glad you've come by. I just... I'm just about fully set up and all moved in. I run a general goods store called Ember's Emporium. I hope you'll stop by for all your shopping needs. Also, if you see Spark, can you tell them that their shift started an hour ago? Being a parent is tough when your kid is so flighty. Y'all, this has literally just become the Stardew Valley of cats, and I'm living for it right now. Jag is here! Let's go! I'm Jag. I used to live in the Northern Mountains back before the big move to the Wildwood. Never thought I'd leave home, but here I am. Lots of good memories back there. Hopefully I can make some new ones out here and get over it. I'm going to try and keep an eye on things around town for you. Some cats gotta keep the peace and watch out for petty crimes and all that. I'll do my best to keep quiet and stay out of your way as I go about my duties. I'm grateful to you for taking me in when I left my old colony behind. I owe you for that. But with Jag, trust must be earned. If you think we're friends just because of that, you're sadly mistaken. I've been hurt before, and I won't let it happen again. I'm so glad Jag is back. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. All right, we need more herbs, so we're going into a battle territory to gather them. Hopefully there's golden seal there that I don't need to use. Oh my gosh, our clan is amazing. Bane of the Dark, we got more experience, we got more Muse. Let's go, and there's the Golden Seal right there. Now we can head back and actually recruit our first cat on the first episode for our sweet Heather. Here we go. I just love that oh my gosh alabaster you've recruited alabaster to join your clan oh my gosh i love this cat you've unlocked gardening but they'll need a place to live let's go build them a new home gasp place the following buildings to continue alabaster's den okay i actually just moved everything <laughs> 
I like it a lot better over here. So now alabaster is actually right next to the garden and the seed grinder. So we're all good. All right, let's go visit this cat. Oh, oh. Your labors are rewarded today, Heather. We welcome all newcomers with open hearts and open arms. <gasps> let's go! Here they are! Good day to you, and a fine day it does seem, would you not agree? Perfect for foraging in the wild lands. There is a bounty of flora and flowers to collect, if you know where to look. But you have asked for my name, I do believe. I must apologize, I have a habit of rambling off on some bumbling tangent of thought. It is something you must get used to if you are to get used to me at all. <laughs> they call me Alabaster. It is a it is delightful to make your acquaintance, Heather. If you are interested in gardening, we will get along just fine, I think. I have a hobby of growing herbs and plants of all varieties. I have a variety of seeds, plant food, and recipes for sale. I'd love to talk more about gardening anytime. Well, in any case, I've likely taken more of your time than I intended. It's lovely to meet you, Heather. And so we have finally recruited our first cat, Alabaster. This is awesome. I love this, this whole recruiting cats. That was not when we played, that was not there when we played Nubia. This is awesome. I love this addition to the game. Devs, you're doing beautiful. Chef's kiss. But that is all the time I have for this episode as we have gotten a new sneak peek into this newest version of the game. This game is still in beta currently. I know that the demo has been released and I hope y'all can get the demo and enjoy it. Um, I am currently in the beta because I was a Kickstarter, but I do know that this game will be coming out in the fourth quarter of this year. So the full game will be here sooner than you think, I'm pretty sure. The years go by so fast now. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you liked this. If you did, tickle and poke that like button, subscribe to join our family if you haven't already, and jingle the bell so you're notified of when I post more Cattails Wildwood. We will be continuing this series as I really want to experience this game to the fullest, even if it is just in the beta currently. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week for more of Mists and Shadows in Cattails Wildwood. Bye!